Okay. Picking up right where we left off. All right. So Desmos, that activity we did, kind of left us in standard form. And we want to stay there because it's beautiful. Right? Just look at the space situation in their backyard. Right? They have 360 square feet of space. And they can fill it with either dogs or cats. Okay, we're going to use X for dogs and Y for cats. For every dog pin they add, it takes up 24 square feet, right? And for every cat pin they add, it takes up six. So we see this balancing act, and standard form shows it to us really well that we have X's and Y's, and they have to balance, and they cannot be greater than 360, right? Now, if we had no dog pins and no cat pins, can they fit? Absolutely, it's a possibility. Right? We see this shading happening because all of these underneath the line are possibilities. Okay? But let's use Desmos real quick to add in some restrictions here. Okay? A has, X has to be greater or equal to zero. Right? And so does Y. Y has to be greater than or equal to zero. Um, and you can get greater than or equal to by typing in the greater than sign and then typing in the equal sign and it'll merge. Right, it's a nice little restriction. It cuts away all the noise. It just gets us exactly what is possible. And that is anywhere in that range, okay? Anywhere between 15 dog pens is a max and no cats or 60 cat pens and no dogs, okay? Oh, we gotta add in some other stipulations here about cats and dogs. All right, we gotta talk about the class of cats and dogs here. Right. Now, the class has really nothing to do with the space, but they do share something in common. They share the fact that we're talking about dog pens and cat pens. Okay? So those dog pens and cat pens cannot exceed 12 feet. Right. Oh, it's even green. How awesome. All right, so we're talking about money. So when we add up all the dog pens and the cat pens, it cannot exceed this amount of money, but they don't cost just a dollar. No, the dog pens are quite expensive. They cost 80 bucks to build. So for every dog pin I add, I'm going to chew up $80 worth of my stash, and every cat pin is going to be that quarter of feet. So I can come up with any combination here of dog pins and cat pins and stay within budget. Okay, if I use any more, I'm going to exceed budget. So all of these are possibilities, right? And I'll just add in the same exact restriction field um, where it's going to be a positive number, all right? So we see these are all the ones I can afford. Well, these are the ones I have space for. These are the ones I can afford. These are the ones I have space for. These are the ones I can afford. So when I go down here, I realize that anything in this little sliver that's just green instead of a brown, anything in that sliver is something I can afford but I don't have room for. So those aren't options, right? Those are no longer options for me, right? I don't have room for a 16th dog pin. I can afford it, but I don't have room for it. And up here, we're talking about things that we have room for, but we can't afford, right? I can fit 60 cat pins in my backyard, but I can't buy 60 cat pins. I can only buy 40, right? So we see these two different kind of restrictions at play at the same time. Revealed to us simply uh, with brown. Uh, so I see inside this brown color uh, are all possibilities still. Okay, these guys have not been eliminated down in here. They're still possibilities. Um, now, to get the most bang for my buck, the most use amount of yard, I'm going to want to find a spot that's somewhere along this line, and then at this point starts to move along this line. All right. So. That's how we can use Desmos to show us graphs, to start to interpret them, to layer them, uh, to gain insightful information regarding the two. All right. And if I were you, and if I were Claire and Carlos or Carlita, I would definitely want even more information. Okay. I'm going to want a graph about how much poop these things are going to create. I want a graph about how much money I'm going to make off of these guys. I want a graph about how much how many people and supplies I'm going to have to hire and pay for to keep these guys happy, right? I want to know a lot of information, but the most nice thing is it's all about cats and dogs, and I can layer these graphs and start to decipher and figure out 